some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Orange County, Florida at the local tax collector's office slash DMV as, as Elmo ends up getting trespassed off the property and gets extremely butthurt about it. In fact, if you want to stick around to the end, just find out how many F-bombs he used throughout the video. It is, well, just telling of how low this man's education truly is if he uses the F-bomb that many times in a short video. So at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You don't tell me what to do, bro. Don't I can tell you your, as long get, as you're in here. Get, get out of don't here. Get out of my face, I'm bro. not touching him. Who I, are you? I know I'm not gonna who are you? Me. I am the officer here. That's officer? Officer who? Who do you think you are coming over here telling me what to do? I'm telling you, you cannot take photos That's and not no true. videos. That's not true. That's not you true. You cannot. You can either turn it off. If you touch me, bro, we're I'm not a problem. Touch you, so bro. step away because okay. I feel threatened. Oh, poor little dumbass Elmo feels threatened, feels faint. Okay, well, uh, let me tell you something, dumbass Elmo. If you should ever be prosecuted for Florida's two-party consent law, uh, then uh, what will you do then? Will you feel threatened? Will you feel faint then? Or will you realize that you had this coming for a long, long time? Time will tell, though. I mean, at the rate you're going, uh, dude, you're going to end up back in prison for a very long time. Why are you recording in here? Why? That's the question that you needed to ask first before okay, you come I'm, over here I, aggressively. Listen, listen, I apologize. All right, good. Okay. Apology accepted. Now, why are we videotaping? We're working on a news story, bro. Please step back. Okay, where's your ID? Off. I don't need to show you anything, bro. Please step back. No, I'm not going to step back. All right, you fine. You can't make me step back. Well, you can't make me turn off my camera. It's the same thing. I'm not making you. I'm asking you. Okay, well, don't, There's don't a ask. difference. Don't ask. Okay, you cannot record in here. That's not true. Okay, we're going to find out how to right, do this. Good. And then okay. you're going to say I'm sorry again in front of everybody. <laughs> oh, you're making a prediction, dumbass Elmo? Well, uh, you're not very good at it in this particular scenario, considering, yeah, I foresee the fact that you're going to be extremely butthurt. You're going to be extremely salty, yeah, and you're going to be using a whole lot of swear words by the end of this video. Uh, no, I'm not predicting the future. I've already seen this video because you were dumb enough to post it. Right. I didn't right. say I was sorry. I apologize. There's okay, so you're going to apologize. You're okay. going to apologize again. So go find out before you... Listen, I'm man, no, you listen. I'm man enough that if I have to apologize, I will apologize. Good, me too. Okay. Good. Oh, you just admitted that you're going to apologize? Since when will you ever apologize, uh, Enrique? You never do. I mean, you act like a complete jackass in every single one of your videos, and when you're proven wrong, you whine and cry and complain about the Third Amendment and uh, run away like a scared little boy when uh, somebody is uh, big and bad enough to uh, chase you off. Do you remember Alaska? When that guy chased you away from the post office, that was funny. So go do your, well, listen, go do your just, research, I'm bro. I'm just doing my job, man. No, you're not. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. Yes, but you if are. if they tell me you can't be here, then you got to go. That's not true. Okay. You got to go. You're pushing the wrong buttons. Bro. Nah, you're pushing the wrong buttons. The wrong button. What you going to do, bro? Nothing. No one, no one came here talking to anybody. Back up. What? What? We're gonna see who's the idiot. We're gonna see who's the idiot. Hello. How are you doing? I'm I okay. need to give you. Things. I need. I. You know. I don't need to take anything. You don't need to take anything. That this is posted. That this is not a public forum. And yes, you it is. Record. Yes, it is. Okay. Call the police. Call the, yes. Call the police. All right, guys. So we're outside waiting for the police. Allegedly, they're coming over. Oh, I like how you said allegedly well allegedly you're going to be uh, turning into a whiny little punk here in a few minutes when they do show up so you might want to check yourself when you say allegedly so don't count your chickens 
before they hatch because you only end up making yourself look like a complete moron when you uh, find out otherwise. Heather Ray over here is live on Heather Ray TV. Make sure you go over there. We're gonna see if police officers arrive and, and control this maniac in their tyrant order giver. Um, we're gonna see how it goes. Let's see what happens. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, this guy's getting educated. Oh man. Hey, 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 don't, no, 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 the, the, hey, where are you going? What the heck? He, this guy wanted to talk this whole time. How you doing, uh, uh, Sheriff? Don't rush my vehicle, stand up there. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? No, I said don't rush my vehicle. Oh, I'm not rushing right. anything. You came right up to my door, all right? That's because I, I wanted to talk to you. Okay, good enough. I'm going to talk to them first and I'll be, listen. I'm listening. Don't get behind us and walk what, what's, what's the problem right. with that? Let me ask you, what's the problem with that? Do it. You guys get behind people all day long. Don't do it. I'm, I'm gonna be behind you, brother, because I have the right to. I can walk no, behind no. you. So what if you scared, bro? You scared of me? Don't walk behind Are you me. scared of me? Don't walk I'm going me. to. I'm going to. What's the problem with that? Is that illegal? Is that illegal? I'm going to. I'm going to. Yes, I am. You're the one with the gun, right? You scared? All right. So walk. Walk. I haven't broken the law. I have the right to be here. I have the right to film. Call your supervisor. Actually, where's his supervisor? I'm not talking to this guy. What's up? Dupre. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Don't walk behind me. Can you, can you tell me, Dupre? You're a cool guy. What's up? I didn't. Hold on. I let me, what's your name and batch number? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. What, what's your name and batch number, brother? Let me, let me ask you something. Are you, are you a rookie? How long have you been a cop? Oh, my goodness. No, I'm just wondering because, you know what I'm saying? You seem so depressed and... and you, really, uh, dumbass Elmo? You're going to go that uh, route. You're going to, without a, a license to diagnose it, call this officer or uh, believe that this officer is showing signs of depression. Uh, dude, do you even know what the signs of depression are? Do you even know how to diagnose it? Have you known anybody that has been depressed in your life? If not, Shut your damn pie hole because depression is a serious matter. I've seen people who are depressed and this officer clearly is not. So shut your damn mouth in this regard because you don't know anything about psychology. You clearly don't know anything about uh, the Constitution. So dumbass Elmo, my advice to you is to well, uh, go to your local library and actually open a book and read those things in there, those symbols uh, that are called letters, words, sentences, paragraphs, and uh, they're all in uh, those books, those things that we call books, and actually learn something. I mean, you would be surprised as to as what you can learn reading a book instead of acting like a complete jackass. Of course, bro. I'm the YouTube guy. I haven't broken the law. Everywhere I go, they say we can't film. I'm sick of it. <laughs> well, maybe you would get better results if you filmed at a uh, place that didn't have sensitive information or anything like that. I mean, you would get better results. I mean, go to a theme park and film. They won't say anything there. Go to a beach and start filming people there because there are plenty of beach videos out there on YouTube where nobody complains. Uh, but you just want, but that's not going to get you the drama you want. You want to cause a stir. You want to stir up the pot and cause a stink. That's what you want to do. So if you're getting tired of it, then uh, why don't you stop stirring the pot and do something more productive? <coughs> Thank you. What, uh, First Amendment. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, guys. So just now, little update, little update. He's a little tyrant. He doesn't like me, but he's going to have to respect me. That's the, that's, <laughs> that's the issue right here. Now we're dealing with the real tyrants. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is where, this is where, you know, it gets a little hard. My job gets a little harder. You know what I'm saying? I got I to gotta deal with these tyrants and they want to, they want to come and enforce illegal laws and illegal activity when I'm doing, when I'm not doing anything wrong. So 
He doesn't like me, but he will respect me. He will respect me. You know, dumbass Elmo, respect is earned, not given. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you have not earned my respect. You have not earned the respect of most people in this country. The respect that you have earned comes from those who are like-minded in individuals who are most likely criminal scumbags who really want to violate people's rights anyway. And I'm not talking about police. I'm talking about actual criminals such as yourself. Many, many minutes later. Okay. ¿Qué está pasando, Dupre? What's going on? Talk to me. You're going to talk to me in a second. Wait, no, I want to talk to you. You're the sergeant. Yeah, I want to talk to you. They have all the information they're handling their call. But that's the code. Cool, that's, the, that's the thing, bro. I don't, I, I don't trust these guys. The way that that guy approached me, I don't trust him a lot at all. The other guys, I don't trust him either. You have, yeah, you have a good so, demeanor, so yeah, I'll talk to you. Um, no, so the place in here has, uh, they were giving us the paperwork about... Their policies, their policies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not law. They, they, did they get educated? Yeah, I mean, in some ways, yeah. Which, what, what, what do you mean, brother? So, uh, the thing is, um, there's, there's, there's like a, a line whether you're causing a disturbance. Exactly, or... obviously, but I'm not. I never am. This is the, this is the reason why we do we, these videos. And that's the, the same line that everybody brings up every single time. Yeah. And, and and I know that line, brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm never disrespectful. I never break the law. If anything, I can show you the video as everything that happened. As soon as I got here, this gentleman over here, just because I didn't want he didn't want me filming, and I can understand he may be mis uh, mis uh, uh, informed about 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 our about our rights. But as soon as I walked in here, it's on video. This guy started calling me an idiot, and I never said anything rude to him at all, at all. I didn't call you an idiot. It's on video. I said, no. Stop acting like an idiot. There's no reason to argue. Did yeah. you walk I'm into the restricted uh, area? It's not. It doesn't say restricted area, first of all. Were you? Did you have business inside there? I do. It's taxable business, yes. What? Where's your business? My videos are being taxed. Yeah, this is the tax collector's office, which deals in property taxes, you buffoon. As a YouTuber myself, I have to deal with a 1099, which is an IRS document. That is federal government, you dipshit. Not to mention that Florida doesn't have a state income tax, which is why a lot of retirees migrate to Florida when they reach that age, you gibbering buffoon. So everything so far you're saying is a complete fabrication. Even your own freaking fellow auditors would know that you don't pay your uh, YouTube uh, 1099 to the local state governments. You pay it to the federal government. So, yeah, come on now, dude. Do better. That is when it comes to living in Florida. I'm not sure if you pay a, a version of a 1099 in any other state. I don't know about that. But certainly not in Florida. Yes, yes. No what? Look, I don't want to talk. Look, I don't want to talk to this guy. He says... He said, for what crime? I haven't broken any law. You have to tell me to leave, and then and then I leave. I'm outside. You can't trespass me. What I, no, you can't. No, you can't. I'm outside. I'm already outside. I'm already outside. No, you're not. That's how that's that's how this works. You tell me to leave, I leave, that's it. I'm not trespassed. We're telling you to leave. And I'm outside. This is a public area. You can't just trespass me from the sidewalk in a public area. No. That was a strange place to get cut, dumbass Elmo. I wonder if they were telling you about this uh, strip right here being privately owned, that this parking lot is privately owned. So therefore, uh, everything you're saying is wrong. I mean, uh, could that be it? Uh, could that be why you did that? I mean, inquiring minds want to know, did you take out incriminating information that makes you look like a complete ignoramus? I mean, nah, that couldn't be it. You couldn't be that dishonest, could you? No, you don't own this plaza. You're getting trespassed they don't. The building. I'm getting trespassed for what crime? What crime have I have I broken? You're the supervisor. Call your supervisor if you're not in charge, Dupre. I haven't broken any law. So if you want to go ahead and take this to court, Pressler, right. we can go ahead. And guess what? I know how to bond myself out right right away too. You know what I'm saying? And then it's your job. You've done it a lot. I, a lot. Yes, a lot. I'll bond myself out super fast, and then it's. 
So go ahead and arrest me for something I haven't done. Go ahead. Who said they were arresting you? I don't care. You're not trespassing me. I haven't broken the law. There's a public place. It's, I'm from Orlando. You You're not trespassing me from the DMV. You You're not trash. No, you need to listen. You need to listen. You need to listen. You're disturbing my peace. I don't want to talk to you. you I don't want to talk to you. You're just, this guy's disturbing my peace, bro. No, no, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not giving you my ID. You don't know. You're not going to know who I am, period. And I don't want to talk to you. I'm talking to your supervisor. You're a tyrant. You're a tyrant. No, I'm not. Am I being detained? No. I'm, I'm, okay, so walk away. I'm not being detained. I'm in a public place. Walk away. So walk away. So walk away. Your job is not to harass me. I'm right here. Your job is not to harass me. I bet you $1,000 to your choice of charity, Ooh. you're not going to trespass me. Yeah, and you probably lose that thousand dollars quite easily, dumbass Elmo. Because how many times have you been trespassed? You should know better than that. But you know what? You're a big talker. You think you know everything, but when it comes right down to it, you're just not another smart ass uh, criminal frauditor who thinks that they know everything when the Dunning Kruger effect applies, and uh, therefore. You think you know everything, but when actually tested, you actually know nothing. No, we're no, you're not. No, you're not. I'm not. I'm not giving ID. I'm not giving ID. Am I required to give ID? Am I being detained? Am I being detained, Sergeant? I'm not being detained. No ID. If I'm not being detained, I'm not giving you an ID. Period. Go ahead, take all the pictures you want. That's all we need. And I hope. And I hope. And I hope that's not your personal stupid phone either. Go ahead. I haven't broken the law. None of your freaking business. None of your business. What's your name? I'm not giving that up. I'm not being detained. Sergeant, you don't want to give your ID. I don't have to. He's, he's John. He's John, though. Just I don't have to. I, I don't have to. I don't have to. I'm going to go straight to your f***ing sheriff. All right? Yeah, call him. Six months, worth, six months worth of training. Call him. Stupid ass. Trying to, trying to disturb my peace. You should get arrested for disturbing the peace. We'll put his picture on the truck. Put my picture. Put my picture wherever you want. Put it up your ass. Yeah. Trans illegally trespassing me. Go ahead. I have millions of people that watch my videos, stupid Hey, dumbass Elmo, uh, I know I've told you this before in my videos, but I feel like it's falling on deaf ears. You do realize that the ad populum of fallacy uh, applies here just because you claim to have millions of uh, people watching your channel doesn't mean that it's the correct way. Doesn't mean that you are always right. Subscriber count, view count, doesn't mean jack squat when it comes to the truth. And the truth is, you can be trespassed from any property without committing a crime, because that's called prevention right there. And the truth is, you are a total and complete uneducated moron. All right, so go ahead and illegally trespass me. Go ahead and do the videos. Go ahead, go ahead and do the picture. Go ahead and do whatever you want. You've but guess what? Been no, I'm not. Walk back in that building. And what you gonna do, bitch? Go to jail. What are you gonna do? And then I'm gonna bond out. And then what? So do it. And then, and then what? So do it. Freedom of speech. There you go. Freedom of speech. Everybody Fuck you. I'm gonna talk to your boss, and I'm gonna put a complaint on you, stupid bitch. Oh my God. Who the hell? Cash. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure that complaint will be thrown right in the garbage because it's coming from the garbage hole of a certain frauditor that uh, nobody like, seems to care about in Florida. So, yeah, you really got to consider the source of this one. And if it's Enrique right here, Mr. America, dumbass Elmo, whatever you want to call him, yeah, uh, the source is, well, quite pathetic. Yeah. Yeah, please. Yeah. Yeah. These cops, they get, they get six months worth of training and they think they know it all. <laughs> they think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? You don't know it, bitch. You don't know it. You don't know it. Sorry, Dupre. <laughs> if anybody knows it, I hope it's you. But you're not going to tell me either right now. So, period. None of you know the Third Amendment. What's, who, who wrote the Constitution and I'll leave? I'll tell you that. Who wrote the Constitution and I'll, since you took an oath to it, right? Pressler. Remember when you raised your hand and you took an oath to become a cop? To protect us? Huh? To guarantee us freedom? Right? 
that you're fucking- You know, dumbass Elmo, uh, I get what you're trying to say here, but, yeah, it wasn't just one person who wrote the Constitution or its amendments. I mean, there was a whole committee of people that got together and drafted the Constitution over months of deliberation, and then for the past 200 or so years, amendments have been added to it, leaving not just the original founding fathers that uh, helped to draft it, but many, many people afterwards that, that have left their impressions upon it. So, dude, yeah, it's not just one person that wrote it. You need to get your head out of your ass and figure that out. Then there's the issue of the Third Amendment, which hasn't really been relevant since the Civil War, you jackass. Taking, taking, shame on you, shame on you, shame on you, and shame on you, shame on all of you. The prey, you should be protecting me right now. He don't want nothing to do with it because he knows I'm right, right? So go ahead, trespassing. shove the trespassing paper up your ass, bitch. We're gonna give you a copy. I don't want a copy. Shove it up your ass. I mean, what you do with it is up to you. No, no, they, they, what you do with it is up to you. I don't want your paperwork. Good. Go ahead. And I bet you I'm going to get this trespass, trespass taken out. How much you want to bet? Call me when you do. Call me when I do? You, 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 you know what? You know what, brother? Why don't you sign a waiver? Are you willing to sign waivers and go to a gym? A waiver for what? A waiver. What is that? So, that we can, uh, so that we can go boxing or MMA legally. <laughs> Just let me do that, bro, because I have, I have, the, I will sign a waiver. You know what I'm saying? Legally, and we'll donate five thousand to your choice of charity. Let's do it, Pressler. Hey, dumbass Elmo. All this talk right here reminds me of an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I believe it's called Fear Itself. Yeah, let's see what happened with the demon known as Gaknar as he created this huge disturbance throughout the house and finally showed up at the end. Only to have a, well, little problem. Yeah. Buffy, when it comes to slaying... Size doesn't matter. They're all going to abandon you, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Aselmo, let me explain this to you. In this scenario, you are Gaknar. And, uh, well, Buffy, in this scenario is anybody that can pose a threat to you. Basically, you're just a small potato who has nothing on their side. And as Xander put it, Big overture. Little show. Let's do it, Presser. You don't have the balls because you're a coward. On you're your a paper. coward. That's what you get Everybody with your paperwork. Fuck your... you. This is my town, bitch. You don't come over here being a tyrant. Not you. You shove it up your ass too, bitch. You tyrant. You think you're gonna disrespect my First Amendment? I have the right to say whatever I want as long as I don't speak violence. And as soon as I spoke violence, I spoke about I spoke about a what? A waiver. And I spoke about legal combat. You know what I'm saying? Why don't you? You're not gonna walk back. Why don't you do that? Why don't you do that? Well, maybe not today, but maybe not tomorrow. Maybe not the next day. But I fuck promise you, I'm gonna get back in there. I promise. I've had better attorney than you. It's a cop. You're just a bitch ass, bald ass, ugly ass looking mother cop. I hope your wife's fing somebody right now, bitch. I haven't heard that before. Yeah. I hope your wife's fing somebody right now. You know, dumbass Elmo, your swearing is a huge indicator of your lack of intelligence because at this point in the video, I must have used the sensor uh, sound effect 30 times already uh, throughout this entire video. Uh, so, yeah, if you are very well educated in the law, you should be very, very well educated as a whole. So why are you using such vulgar language throughout your life like this, especially when you get pissed off? I mean, I use the F-bomb a bit, but nowhere near this much. So which leaves me, uh, wondering, uh... Do you kiss your mama with that mouth? Because I'm sure she would have to wash it out with soap at some point. There you go. There you go. She probably yes. She probably yes. She probably yes. 
Yup, yup, yup. You wanna fucking illegally trespass me? That's being disorderly. That's being disorderly. You're breaking the law. Oh, dumbass Elmo. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you do realize you're talking about yourself, right? These officers are doing their jobs in trespassing you. I mean, you are trespassed by the people inside. You fight that in court. You don't talk about it with the officers out on the street. And speaking of disorderly conduct, <laughs> yeah, uh, that too right there is uh, on your head. These officers, yeah, not so much. But you, you're the one out here swearing and everything like that, acting like a complete jackass. If they wanted to, they could arrest you for disorderly conduct at this point. But at this point, uh, they're just showing a little bit of compassion for you. Because, you know, uh, a lot of times uh, officers won't arrest somebody because they probably think that they're mentally challenged or something like that. Which is probably your case because... You've got a clear mental disorder of something. I don't know what it is, but it is definitely there. Go back in if you want to. You're breaking the law. You're using the law as a uh, I think You're being a tyrant. Waiting on the paper and then You're being uh, a tyrant. Yeah, yeah. Never gonna go back in there. How much you want to bet? Oh, I'm never gonna go back in there. I, like I told you, Pressler, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not the day after, but I will legally go back in there. I swear, and you're gonna lose your job. I swear. Maybe. It's not maybe. Who, yo, you sound very confident. Yep. You sound very confident, it's huh? Maybe. You sound very confident. You won't go back in. I won't go back in. Why? Cause you say you, you say that. You ugly bitch ass cop, pussy ass cracker. Who the wow. you think you are? Wow. Who the wow. think you are? You little snitch, snitch ass you, bitch. Man. Uh, dumbass Elmo. I don't think this is the proper context to be using the word snitch i mean uh how are these officers snitching on you considering that they are uh trying to enforce the laws that you don't seem to believe in anyway because you seem to think that every law is illegal i mean uh just answer that and i want to know one other thing uh you're asking who these officers who they who they think they are uh, let me ask you something. Who the hell do you think you are? I mean, in reality, you're nothing but a YouTuber who has a rather large channel. But does that mean anything in the real world? And whenever all this is said and done, when your channel is one among many channels in the YouTube graveyard that doesn't have any more views coming to it because it collapsed in on itself, where will you be at that point? I mean, it's happened before, it'll happen again. It happens to every channel eventually. So who do you think you are? What the, what can you contribute to society after your YouTube channel is dead and gone? I mean, you got to be able to do something with your life, but unfortunately, all you have is your criminal record. It's freedom of speech, bitch. You're being a tyrant i'm nice to whoever's nice to me F you F you i was nice to him i was nice to him what 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 are you saying i created a, a disturbance for or my freedom of speech he's trying to frame me he's trying to frame me with charges i'm like where's the crowd gathered? where's the crowd people you're you're creating a scene you're the one you're the one creating a scene by uh, disturbing my peace you don't get it he doesn't get it he doesn't get it he's disturbing the peace by by illegally trespassing me from here? Film over there. No, no. You know what? Keep keep your what? paperwork. Keep your paperwork. They never do the whole crowd. What crowd, bro? People are watching you guys being tyrants. Everybody agree with me. No one's here talking except you. It's all on video. I know. It's all on video. Everybody that walked out of here, shake my hand. Everybody that walked out of here, pound it. People knew who I was. Why? Because I'm nice and I praise good cops whenever they deserve it. But you guys are being tyrants. So go ahead. Keep your... Keep your little DMV to yourself, all right? I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. You guys are tyrants. You, can't go back inside. you guys are tyrants. Go f your mother. See you later. Go f your mother. Oh no, dumbass Elmo is 
butt hurt once again after getting trespassed from another property that he doesn't understand anything about, especially when it comes to trespassing. But I've got just the thing for him. I've got Blackheart Knight's butt hurt cream, guaranteed to cure any pain in your ass or your money back. But of course, since you're not paying any money for it, there is no true guarantee, so it might not cure anything. In fact, it might cause uh, more of a pain in your ass for all I know. So let's go ahead and enjoy that walk of shame, and then we are out of here. Well, in case you're wondering about one thing, I uh, I recorded the amount of uh, of sensor bleeps that I used in this video, and well, here it is. Quite shocking, I know. But you know what? Somebody uses that much uh, language in any environment probably doesn't have a very good job. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you putting cereal? Who's that?